Thomas. And uh, who are you? Hey, I'm uh, Craig Terblanche with uh, Arcos North America. So here at CES 2013, you launched uh, a whole bunch of new devices. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So right here, what we've got is our new titanium range. Uh, it features a 7-inch screen, an 8-inch screen, a 10-inch screen, and a 9.7-inch screen. The, they all use the same processor, right? Yeah, so the titanium range, uh, what they all have in common is that they're all dual core, 1.6 gigahertz, and they're all quad core GPUs. They all run Android 4.1. Uh, they're all Google certified, all 8 gigs of RAM. Um, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 8 gigs of uh, flash and 1 gig of RAM. So, so, if I can say, this is Rockchip uh, RK3066, yeah. all of them. And uh, the price is really attractive. That's the, one of the points, right? Sure, I mean, absolutely. So, if we start with the, the, the 7 inch, um, this is going to be uh, 119, so 119 US dollars. Uh, you compare this to the uh, Nexus and the Kindle, we're looking, you know, 40, 50 percent price uh, price difference there. Um, 40 percent cheaper there. Yeah, uh, it's very, very aggressive yeah. pricing for the, yeah. the specs. You have an 8 inch here, you can compare it to the iPad mini. Let me just check if the brightness is max. Yeah, sure. Uh, crank it up here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Right. There we go. So you can compare this 8 inch uh, to the iPad mini. Uh, this one's 169 uh, US dollars, so an, uh, again about 50% uh, more affordable. That's half the price of the iPad mini. Sure. Same screen size, same screen resolution. Same screen size, same screen resolution, uh, faster CPU, faster GPU. And uh, HDMI, which the iPad mini does not have. HDMI, front camera, back camera, uh, micro USB, uh, micro SD for expanded storage. Really cool slim form factor. The coolest 8 inch on the rock chip. Really Ab cool. Absolutely. And, and so then we've got the big brother. It's a 10.1 10 inch uh, titanium. This is also aggressive, uh, aggressively priced. So you compare this to the Nexus 10, uh, for example, uh, which is at 399. This device right here is sitting at uh, 199. 1280 by 800 resolution. So half the price of a Nexus 10. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's not exactly as powerful as Nexus 10, but that's... Sure, spec for spec, yeah, you know, no, but... Uh, uh, half the price, and it's smooth, very good screen, good builder quality. Great experience, great build, aluminum chassis, IPS screen, all IPS and screens. And all white? You don't have all the colors? All white, yeah. Just white? Yeah, just white. Titanium, white? Yes, yes, absolutely. So, this is the 9.7. Um, this is the 9.7 Titanium HD, the reason for the HD. This is a super IPS panel. Uh, 2048 by 1536 resolution and um, Can you hold? yeah sure absolutely and, uh, so this is a retina yes this retina is a resolution the, if you can call yeah. it that sure um, and this would compare to the uh, the iPad 4 uh, but this one is 249 US dollars 249 so you get a retina tablet for half the price of the iPad 4 yeah you could say that half price half the price cool uh, and battery, there's no problem with the battery life on any of these? No, no, a a absolutely good? not. No, no, absolutely not. And it's really light thin, it's good? Sure, it's well constructed, uh, aluminum chassis again, very nicely built, IPS panel, I mean, very, very solid feel. Solid feel, it feels metallic. Yeah, sure. sure. Is it metallic? It's aluminum. It's aluminum. Aluminum, are they all aluminum? Yep, all the aluminum. Whole titanium is aluminum. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. All Can aluminum, you use see? titanium materials? <laughs> Might drive the cost up just slightly, yeah. see, yeah. Cool. They all look really cool. So, titanium availability? Uh, in March. They all in March in the US? Uh, yes. How about Europe and all that? Uh, same, yeah. All in March. Mm -hmm. Available Available in March. Peut-être on apprend à se connaître. Je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois, ce n'est pas à mon, à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.